Hi guys, my name is Zen and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today we're going to look at this hibiscus. Uh, it has been growing all year and uh, I haven't really pruned it. So I actually brought this indoors already and uh, I'm just taking it outside today to prune it. It's getting kind of warm for this week, um, but I'm not going to move everything out again. Um, it's just it's too much work. You know, going upstairs and downstairs with, uh, with uh, everything, it's just not very practical. So my goal today is to, I need one, I need to get rid of this sucker because I don't want this to be a uh, multi-trunk tree, at least not right now. And then we're going to prune this back and take a look at what I, what I need to do with this, if anything. So we'll get started with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a lot of these long branches back. And, uh, and once I do that, I can have a better look at the structure and then I can uh, go on to decide what I want to do with this straight section here and I need to get rid of the moss and uh, take this out and hopefully nothing will keep sprouting from the bottom. So we'll take the top off first and the top there's about four to five pairs of leaves. Um, I'm going to take it back to here. There's the leaf going this way uh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to do this for now. Let me let me uh, take a look afterwards because I might want to keep this branch. I'm not I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'll take this branch back uh, to here as this branch is going towards me. And. This one here, I will take it back to here for now. There's a branch coming towards me at the bottom. I keep thinking this blue thing is a turntable. I'm trying to turn it. <laughs> so here, I'll just take it back to here. There's a branch pointing that way towards the camera and as for this one um, yeah so I think I'm gonna do this I will take this leaf as my hopefully the branch sprouter <laughs> so that I can go this way and I have the main trunk going that way so that will look interesting I, I hope I'll leave this, uh, I, I left a lot of stuff. I, I do have the tools to take it back all the way to the leaf, um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm just, I will let this die back naturally. Um, I think it's safer that way <laughs> in case uh, of any dieback. So I'm not gonna do anything with this for now. Um, what, I, what, I, what I'll do now, so let me get rid of this leaf, is I'm going to take the moss off and, and try to get rid of this, this sucker here. I, yeah, so. I will try to save these moss so I can use it again after I, I do this. And the moss so far indoors has been growing quite well. There's actually a worm in here, which I never knew that was there. Uh, I think I'm going to remove it and put it in my put it somewhere else in nature I guess don't really need it here <laughs> so I'm going to rake some of the soil away um, because this is coming from lower than the soil level in a way and I think I need to kind of take a big chunk off just so that it doesn't come up anymore. So I don't have any plans to repot this. Um, and hopefully I don't have to. Although the, the uh, Actually, let me see if I can 
There's a lot of roots already. Uh, and there's a fair bit of roots around, but I think you could go a little bit more without repotting. So I won't do it today. Um, I'm just going to try to get rid of that and then repot it maybe, maybe a month or two down the road. I'll only recover from the pruning first. So, uh, but it is kind of hard to work with this. Uh, there's lots of roots on the surface. So I think I got it out now. And let me see what the root base looks like if I rake it out. Okay, so we'll have a close look at this branch. So you can see that it's, it's coming out right from the bottom here, basically just above the root base. And I, I do have a thick root here, but it's going kind of, you know, crooked direction. Uh, so I'm actually going to take that root off. I don't really know how deep it goes, but I'm not going to take it out now. I don't want to disturb the uh, soil too much. I'll just do that and then I'll use my one of the concave cutters and try to get rid of this once and for all okay there it goes I will try to clean this up a little bit Right now it's just like a, you know, it's kind of going outwards stub. So I think that's fine. A little bug fell off. So the base is getting bigger. The flare is actually at the bottom, below the uh, you know the usual surface of the uh, of my s below the surface of my soil. So there's lots of roots at up top. Um, I I kind of do want to expose this a bit, um, but maybe it's not time yet. So I'll I'll add some of the soil back. But the moss on top is what's going to cover most of the of all of these roots. So I'll try to put back what was there, even though it's most likely not going to go back exactly. I'll press down a bit so they make good contact. So my mango right now is trying to cover the area where the roots are kind of exposed. And once I cover them with moss, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, even if it dries out, the surface dries out, like the moss, if it dries out a bit, it's okay because it's the roots are inside. They're not really exposed to the uh, the raw air of, of my house, I guess, for the next next few months. And what I'll do is I'll water this in afterwards. And hopefully they stick. Now I, I got some extra moss for some reason.
Okay, I think that's good with the moss. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the bottom is not going to keep sprouting with the suckers. Um, it has been doing that for the longest time. I, it, you know, and every time I try to rub it off or prune it off, and it never worked. But this time, I think with the uh, with the pruners, you know, with the concave cutters, um, hopefully that'll do the job. So, so we're gonna start working at the top and uh, see if we can do with that that branch. I was looking at it, and my original concern was this was this part. It, it's so straight. There's not that much movement. And there's a note right here, but it never sprouted leaves from that area, so I'm not sure if I cut it here, if it's gonna do anything there. And if it doesn't, then that whole thing will die back, and I'm back to this uh, stump. And I don't, I don't really want to risk that. Um, so yeah. So then, and then this, I think this is okay. I can clean this up a little bit and then develop this branch here because I have this outdoors going uh, leaf here so hopefully a branch come out of here and then I will have uh, foliage on this side where, is, where there's nothing right now. Um, so let's do that. I'll just assume that's what's going to happen um, which means that I'm going to kind of prune the top here. I, I I left this one as the uh, as the branch of choice, but I think I'm going to go with this so that it comes back towards the middle of the tree. So I'll take that back just a little bit more. And so this branch here There's a, there's one branch coming out here and then it's kind of going up and there's a branch coming down here which is more horizontal and uh, it creates a little bit of taper. So what I'll do, um, what I would do is take this all the way back. So that whole thing's gone. So I'm going to develop this one that's going this way. I'm going to get rid of this leaf because it's going backwards. So that's what that looks like. And then the tree can come back in on itself. Um, yeah. So then this, this will be my front. Even though it doesn't look like much now, but hopefully in the in the future this will come out more, and then I have a fuller tree. So what also that means is I'm going to leave this long part because uh, I don't want to risk losing that whole thing. Um, as far as the top is concerned, there's not much to do. Uh, I think for now I'm going to kind of there's a dead stub here which I'll take off. It's just a leftover from before. So there are two branches coming out in this area. And uh I think what I'll do is get rid of this side. There's a bunch of leaves. I'm going to use this to get rid right to the trunk. Because I think it's going to sprout again if I just leave it. Okay, so what I'm hoping for is that this leaf will develop a branch going that way. The leader here going this way. nothing and then this here I, I don't know what's gonna happen with that I don't really mind it right for now but I could always take it take it out later and then here um, yeah actually this I'm gonna take it back 
just on every print every branch is pruned so that it'll grow at the same rate um, and then the bottom hopefully i get this development going this way and then you know hopefully a couple years down the road it'll look more like a tree uh okay so what's next um I'm not going to wire this. This is be a, a pure um, clip and grow. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. So I think that's fine for the pruning. I'm going to water this tree now. And uh, that should be it for this. If you haven't noticed, I got a mic for my phone so that you can actually hear me. Because I noticed a lot of the videos, the uh, sound is quite low uh, with the phone. So hopefully it's better now. Um, either it's better or. It could, be, it could be not working and you won't hear anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to water this tree. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave this tree outside for now because the weather is a bit warmer and I already took it out. So I might as well just leave it for now and take it back a few days later or maybe next week. Um, okay, so I'll take you through an update where, where my tropicals exist now, which is upstairs. Um, and that should, be, that should be all for today. So we'll go upstairs and take a look. Well, there you go. That's the indoors, but this is the original setup. Let me show you the new one. So this is a spare bedroom and uh, because of the amount of plants that I got over the uh, summer and the season, uh, it no longer fits in one room. Um, this is kind of a problem because this, this room doesn't have any artificial lighting. Uh, so, you know, this is right in front of a window. Um, hopefully they'll be okay for the uh, winter. So that's the lychee tree, which I should probably prune this back a bit. It's getting a little bit uh, crowded here and uh, the leaves are just massive size. That's the, um, what do you call it? Uh, Bougainvillea. And I have some few jades. This is just a house plant that I'm growing. And that's the big jade uh, doing well so far. And I kind of carved this so that's smoother. It's callous over, so that's good. Eventually, I think I might have to do something with this. It's like, uh, you know, I might have to take it off or, I don't know, something. We'll see. So, we'll, go, we'll, head, back, we'll head back to the other room. I got my aquarium back inside the tank. I've decided to put the smaller plants in there because I can fit more in. And then there's a kind of empty spot, which, you know, I guess it's okay for now. I don't have anything to put there exactly. Um, inside there's uh, a few ficus, that's the two little leaf, um, that's just a regular benjamina. There is the hibiscus snow queen, uh, chiflera that I, kind of, I wired it so I still have a, a little bit of movement in the trunk. And that's the ficus, um, uh, what do you call it, the willow leaf ficus. Um, it's leafing out quite good right now. So what I've done at the bottom there is uh, I'm trying to grow roots at the bottom. And eventually I'm going to cut that roots off. So I haven't checked, but you know, I'm sure it's going to grow roots. And then on the other side, a lot of these used to be a much smaller, so I could fit better, but now they're getting bigger. Like that's much bigger. The uh, Benjamina variegated. Uh, that's another Benjamina, a couple of dwarf jays and, uh, and my vines. And then this is another Benjamina that's responded fairly well from the uh, pruning I did. And then I have my uh, Natal plum near the window. So I think it'll get good good amount of sun. And then the Saflera, the Dracaena forest is, I'm, I'm pruning it here because I can get some indirect sunlight for the moss. Um, this has been here, been in, indoors for the past, I would say two weeks or so. And it has been doing pretty well. The moss is still green. I missed it now. Every day, a few times, every day. Uh, 
it's the only way to go. If you don't miss it, it's gonna go, go you know, black or whatever color it is from brown. And then there's the seedlings from Nigel, the uh, cashews. And then that's the hibiscus he gave me. I want more light, but nothing. Can't really get any more light than that. And then there's a bunch of uh, cuttings of bougainvillea and uh, dwarf jays that I didn't really want to grow, but they're they're here anyway, so they're gonna grow. Uh, this guy actually, I just noticed there's a little bit, bit of growth, so maybe that has rooted, and uh, it would be nice if that rooted. And then this is a bunch of lychee trees, five, I planted five seeds, and uh, five seeds sprouted. <laughs> Uh, these guys are, I guess they, they really, they're really easy to, to grow. Um, maybe I'll make this into a forest or something. Uh, and the reason I grew this is because the other tree, which I'll show you in, in a second. Actually, let's go to the there now. The other tree has a uh, kind of a weird root section. So let's see if I can get in here. You see that? It's like, there's like a small 90 degree kind of thing. This actually goes down, so it like goes up, 90 degrees, goes up. So it's really strange. I don't know how that's going to turn out eventually, uh, later on, but... So I'm growing more. Maybe I'll make a forest out of it or something. Um, so, yeah, so that's all the trees. You know, tropical trees growing, you know, you need more room indoors, so... I would say if you're just starting bonsai, if you don't have an area set up for tropical trees, try to control the amount that you have <laughs> because they grow fast and uh, you need room indoors to keep them alive over the winter. Okay guys, thanks for joining me this week. Um, I'll see you next time.